It is the 7th of the 9th, 2012. This is today's climate change update. Uh, Sop.net in Phoenix, Arizona, a massive dust cloud more than 2,500 feet high and stretching some 30 miles blew through the area. The phenomenon known as uh, a haboob is becoming a familiar sight in the skies around Arizona. And a few channels here on YouTube covering that for sure, Arizona public. Back-to-back -back earthquake shakes Central California. Two earthquakes struck uh, Huron, California Friday evening, registering magnitudes 4.2 and 4.0, according to uh, the U.S. Geological Survey. The Yangtze River turns red. Residents of the Chinese city uh, were surprised to find the famous Yangtze River had turned a shade of red yesterday. The coloration of waters of Asia's longest river was reported at several points. The cause for the river turning red is still under investigation by officials, but that did not stop many locals from carrying out their normal water-based activities. Sinkhole and parking lot swallows car in North Carolina. Uh, just more and more sinkhole stories seem to be popping up lately. Uh, it seems to be that time of year. Quakes in southwest China kills dozens, damaged 20,000 homes. I think the count's up to 64 now. Yeah, um, killing at least 64 and forcing tens of thousands of people from damaged buildings, the state media said. And uh, they've got some pretty uh, traumatic video of that, too, as well. Indonesian Volcanology Offices issues warning for uh, Tankuban, uh, Parahu, an Indonesian, uh, one another Indonesian volcano issued a warning Thursday for the public to take extra caution when visiting the volcano just northwest of uh, Bangdung in West Java after a series of tremors shook the mountain and put officials on edge. Mount Fuji under more pressure than under more pressure than last eruption. Pressure in the magma chamber of Japan's Mount Fuji is now higher than it has in the last time the volcano erupted more than 300 years ago. Scientists say according to a report Thursday, tectonic shifts triggered by last year's huge 9.0 magnitude undersea quake have left the chamber under 16 times the minimum pressure at which an eruption can occur. And it's historically known to erupt shortly after big volcanoes. Definitely an interesting read. And of course more on the Chinese earthquake. Hurricane Leslie and Category 3 Michael stir in the Atlantic Ocean. Now uh, apparently Mike uh, jumped from Tropical Storm to the Class 3 hurricane in like 12 hours. Uh, but they're far off into the Atlantic and heading north. More than 500 aftershocks rattle Costa Rica after their big 7.6 magnitude quake. Uh, they've got some uh, videos out on that as well. Over to the RSO E quick. Uh, some major flooding in Nigeria. Um, farmlands destroyed, houses destroyed the bit. I mean, some major flooding going on in Nigeria. And, uh, and in Guinea. Uh, they had some uh, major flooding and stuff. Apparently one 30-year-old man was swept away down river while he tried to cross on his donkey uh, when officials were telling people to stay away from the fast-rising waters kind of thing. And, uh, of course, all the other fires and things going on around right now. Let's just go ahead and go over to the nuclear stuff, e, &E News. TEPCO official in Washington, D.C. We don't know location of melted fuel from Fukushima reactors. Yeah, because it's underneath them. Quote, Fukushima farmer hopes that ducks will eat up the radiation, unquote. Actually, this is a fairly sad story. A, a very sen senior Japanese man, I believe in his 80s or 90s, uh, has been living there for generations. And uh, he understands that this year's crop's gone. He's having hope for next year. And nobody has the heart to tell him that the ducks just can't save it. Nuclear engineer, tanks of... Screaming hot, radioactive sludge from Fukushima reactors could rupture. Uh, they have a video on that, and they're running out of places to put this stuff. Uh, they might have to clear out some extra areas to build extra tanks. But this stuff's seeping into the Pacific Ocean. It's insane. 
large sections of thick liquid oil spotted floating in the Gulf of Mexico after Hurricane Isaac. Oiled wildlife has been reported, and again, uh, Isaac stirred up a bunch of that crap that they dumped down to the bottom that hasn't been able to degrade because of the Corexit and all the insanity that that entails. What, three years running now? TEPCO Krypton-85 increased at reactor number one. Nitrogen injected to reduce explosive hydrogen. They're saying fusion is still going on in reactor number one. Uh, that's the only thing that produces this Krypton-85. BP oil exposed by Isaac not degrading. Official, we will be cleaning it up for the next 20 years if nothing is done. Researcher, this is going to be the new normal for the Gulf Coast. And uh, notice they quit running the BP commercials. Come on down, let's go fishing and swimming. <coughs> Louisiana sinkhole. Officials concerned gas has entered Mississippi River, uh, Alaval Aquifer, a uh, new well to be drilled near Salt Dome. Of course, I covered this story yesterday. And finally tonight, I'm going to take you over to uh, Fukushima Diary, uh, their daily news. High rate of temperature increased in RPV2. Uh, this is reactor number two. They're having a high rate of increase. TEPCO is blaming it on a broken thermometer. So uh, we're not really sure what's going on, but temperatures are spiking in number two. Again, um, fission is continuing. and They don't know where the melted fuel is, the corium. U.S. DOD, thyroid radiation dose of Tokyo children is 14 millisieverts for 60 days following 311. Intermittent increase of Krypton-85 to suggest ongoing nuclear fission in reactor number one. And the Mount Fuji story. Sea contamination of 3,946 days later. You know that German um, film they did where they showed the radiation as it's going to cross the Pacific and slam up against the west coast of um, North America. And uh, what they didn't take into consideration was this, is the ongoing continued pollution that was uh, based on a one-time push. Now, if somebody were to take this film and add uh, continued pollution daily, and what that's going to do in uh, 3,946 days of total leaking, um, we'll definitely see what's really going on in the Pacific Ocean. And uh, that's about all I'm going to cover tonight. So, uh, of course, if I missed anything, please let me know. Attach your comments or videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.